Good morning. It is 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm about to teach morning workout class, um, but I am doing a photo shoot today. I'm going to do some with Lacey and Tara, which are coaches in my online coaching group, Team Relentless, and then I'm going to do some photos for myself. Um, and I have to say that I know most people like get super excited and look forward to a photo shoot, but I do not really like having pictures taken of myself and I have been so stressed out about it and I'm so nervous and just am not really even looking forward to the photo shoot. I'm sure I'll enjoy the pictures, but I wanted to film also today and let y'all know how it goes with managing kids getting to photo shoots super early in the morning in that's like an hour, Jim's probably an hour, hour and a half away. We'll see depending on Austin traffic um, and trying to fit in my meals and still stay healthy. My calories are still pretty low after my show and uh, I wish they could be higher. Uh. Hey! I'm here with water. Yeah! Woo! Is that all you got? Oh, all right. you got? Yeah, that's all I got. What's up, guys? Hey. Ooh. Hey. I'm on my way to the photo shoot. I am dropping off the boys with Grandma so they can hang out while I get my photo shoot done. My hair is still wet. Still have not even done my makeup. But right. we're okay, making it. So to stop by my favorite coffee shop, um, because I realized that I actually gave myself extra time to get there, which is good because Austin traffic is nuts, y'all. Um, anyway, but um, I always like to get an Americano with just some steamed almond milk. Um, so I get a little bit less, quite a bit less almond milk than what's in a latte, just to save some calories. And it still gives me the taste of the almond milk and it's so good. Mmm. Um, but on my way, I am going to listen to a podcast that my friend and now client Lynn Lee sent me. Um, I love when I'm in car rides, um, without my kids to listen to podcasts and especially fitness and health podcast, just so I can learn more. I love learning that kind of information just to learn for myself and then to make me a better coach and things that I can help teach and share with others. Um, so I want to know, do y'all listen to podcasts? Um, comment on the video below and let me know what some of your favorite podcasts are. I like Wellness Force Radio. I also like um, Lewis Howes has a podcast called The School of Greatness that is really inspirational and motivational. Um, but I'm going to listen to a new podcast today. I can't even remember the name of it, but I will let y'all know after I listen to it. We're here outside Big Tech's gym. We're going to do a photo shoot for our Team Relentless coaching group. There's Tara. And look at this badass new ride she just got. It's pretty darn cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a photo shoot this morning at Big Tech's Two. You want to go outside?
so cute. And what's the other one? It's Nala and what's Simba? What's the song they sing at the Lion King? Yeah, but what is that song that they sing in the movie? I don't know. I can't wait to be king. And saying, stop that. Frida, run They're pretty, pretty big. Oh, and what are those over there? Yeah, you're silly. Mommy, can I see the picture? I want to see. Hey guys, so I made it to the Y. Can y'all see me? Step back. Um, oh, it's been a long day. Uh, we pretty much started our day about 4:30 a.m. Had morning workout class. Had, my son had a sleepover and they did not sleep well. Um, so it was just a rough night, not, it's not much sleep. So tonight I'm gonna try to catch up, but I didn't want to come to the gym today. Um, had that photo shoot in North Austin and then drove about an hour and a half south to the snake farm and to get my daughter and did the snake farm. Then it took us about an hour to get home, had to get dinner for everybody. Um, the kids were fighting like crazy in the car, driving me insane. So it's been a long day. And I know that my body probably needs some rest, but it also really needs a stress release. And the gym is my ultimate stress relief. And I am happy to be here, even though I'm tired. I have a friend that I'm meeting. We're going to get in a workout. I'll try to film part of it so y'all can see what we're doing. Um, but just know mamas that you're going to have days like this, that you are exhausted and you don't want to come to the gym or you don't want to work out, but know that it's important anyway to stay on track and you will feel so much better after. I know I will not regret this workout, even though I might not have as much energy as I usually do, but I'm here and I showed up and that is the first step in gaining confidence is just showing up for yourself, even when it's hard. So show up. And another thing that I wanted to mention is when I got home, I was so tired. And even though my stomach was kind of bothering me because I ate some beef earlier, not good lighting in here at all. Um, even though my stomach was bothering me, whenever I get really tired and feel stressed and overwhelmed, I want to go into the pantry and just grab snacks and just snap on things. That's like my, sometimes my stress relief. And I think that that is that for a lot of women. Um, I did have a few snacks, but I still fit them into my calorie goals. I tracked everything I ate. I still have plenty of calories left for dinner, but I told myself, no, you're going to go to the gym and do that for yourself as a stress relief instead of turning to the food in the pantry that will temporarily make you feel better for maybe five minutes. And then after that, you're gonna feel crummy and go over your calorie goal and beat yourself up. And instead I'm using that, taking the stress and I'm going to put it into my workout and into the gym. So you have to find something else that another way to release it rather than binging on snacks that you don't need. 